Tuesday, heads of state and high officials of South American nations gathered in Belém, the capital of the Brazilian state of Pará, in the fourth Amazon summit. The event is headed by Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva and is attended by the eighth presidents of the countries of the Amazon Cooperation Treaty Organization. At the two-day summit, the governors and environment ministers will aim to strengthen environmental protection mechanisms and halt deforestation in the Amazon by 2030, as well as develop sustainable development policies for the countries of the region. Independent of governments and monitor the impact of climate change and the rainforest and the Amazon ecosystem. Lula thanked the regional governors whose initiatives against deforestation, organized crime and sustainable development will be the focus of their interventions. And precisely in his speech, the governor of Pará stated that the delegations attending this event share common objectives in the need to preserve the values of the men and women in the region. A house in which uh, all present, all the ones present here share the same thoughts, the same convictions. With the main goal of preserving based on the values of men and women in the region. Defending the main reasons why we are defending these values. We don't need to transform in order to produce We need to uh, analyze past events in order to uh, be able to solve the current problems and be able to develop our current situation. And also in the working meeting of the fourth Amazon summit, Lula da Silva stressed that the event marks the beginning of a new era in which respect for indigenous peoples will be the central axis. Because in this summit, a new dream born. For a long time, uh, the dreams of others have been imposed to us, which has uh, apart us from our dream, our Amazonian dream. The Brazilian leader pointed out that during years of looting in the Amazon, indigenous leaders and the community in general suffered violence just for trying to protect what belongs to them. During this time, the leaders, environmental leaders, indigenous leaders, uh, suffered all kinds of attacks and violence just because they were trying to protect uh, a territory that belongs to the people and has always belonged to the people. And the president of Colombia, Gustavo Petro, warned about how the climatic crisis or the environmental crisis is caused by the industrialization. Politics is mostly focused on the economic and scientific uh, breakthroughs. What we can tell is uh, mostly because the environmental crisis that we are uh, facing right now is the result of the greed of capitalism and the constant need for industrialization. The president of Colombia, Gustavo Petro, warns about how in the case of his country it will be necessary to reconcile the reforestation of the Amazon when there are sectors that only seek to exploit it. We will have to see, in case of Colombia, how to protect rural areas. We need to protect this area, which is something indigenous people understand, mainly because it is where they live, but 
the rest of the citizens need to fully understand and be aware of the importance that this matter has. We need to leave uh, the Amazonas for a while and give it some time to uh, recover, to regrow, to be able to recover from all the damages that we have caused. In this same context, the Venezuelan Vice President Delcy Rodriguez highlighted the importance of governmental action. I think that it's also important to highlight that it's the government's uh, responsibility to uh, create those uh, econo ecological uh, alternatives that we need. This is not something that we have to lay on the shoulders of the science. We definitely need uh, the help of scientists, but we cannot uh, give all the responsibility to them is the government's responsibility to take action in this matter. From Venezuela, via social media, President Nicolás Maduro Moros praised the work of the host country and the delegations participating in the summit and stated that in the social network Twitter, that with work, effort, and a concrete plan ready for action, they will advance together in the reforestation, sanitation, and recovery of the Amazon for the welfare of the indigenous peoples. The Venezuelan leader also stressed that the region is moving towards a new humanity.